What's going on guys? It's Jordan back today with another video. And in today's video, we're gonna take a look at XRP because we haven't taken a look at it in a long time. We're gonna look at the daily chart of the last two bull markets. And we're also gonna take a look at the XRP Bitcoin pair to see if we can find any clues on what is gonna happen next for XRP. So if that sounds good to you guys, let's jump right on in to the video. As we jump right on in to the daily chart of XRP, this is the fractal that we've been looking at for absolutely like like forever, right? For months now, since I started making this channel, I think this was one of the first videos that I talked about um, when XRP was literally all the way back here, right? And since that point, it's gone exactly the way that I predicted, right? We ended up breaking this uh, resistance line that we had here, this purple resistance line. We ended up breaking above it, um, testing it as support, um, and then breaking out of that little bull flag that we were in up to the upside. Exactly like we did down here in 2017, where we broke above that resistance line that kept us down the whole time in the bear market, broke above it, came back down, tested it as support, and then what did we do, guys? We pumped straight up to the upside. And we've had a couple recent things that are going on that are exactly matching that 2016, 2017 bull market exactly the same as well. So um, if we actually zoom in right here, guys, this is like a weird zoom in, but if we zoom in right here, right, where this thing got its first kind of rejection was right below where the resistance line for the bear market started. So if you guys can see, we can draw a little line here so you guys can see it better. But from this point, we uh, got rejected for the first time um, pretty much right below that um, little all that little second um, you know after we hit our all-time high that second kind of impulse that's where we kind of topped out uh, for the first impulse before um, correcting back down um, and then pumping again so what are we doing now that I think is pretty similar so I'm gonna erase that so it doesn't mess up my chart but let's look at what we're doing now so where we topped out for that first impulse, just like we did up here, down here, guys, in the bottom left, um, what we did is we impulsed, right, right to the, right below that bottom of the second impulse, right? So pretty much the same thing is still happening for this fractal word for word. And if we were to continue this fractal, what we would do, it just doesn't have to 100% happen, obviously, but what we would do here, if we zoom in, um, we would actually go and pump right back up to that same point, get a, you know, a couple days of sideways before pumping up to the upside again. So um, let's see what uh, actually uh, happens here. So um, if we look here, uh, what would happen now? So we are, what we're doing is we're going and testing that again, right? And I think what we're going to end up doing here is coming up and breaking this eventually, right? We're gonna break this and come up and test all time highs again, because that's what we did here, right? Once we broke that first impulse down here, we came up and wicked straight up to that all time high, pretty much in like a matter of a couple of days. Uh, do I think it's gonna be that crazy? I don't think so, guys. I think it might take a few weeks to a few months till we actually impulse up here, but I think it's gonna be pretty parabolic, um, probably a line, you know, somewhat more like this. Um, rather than, you know, something crazy like that. So uh, don't get me wrong. I don't think we're going to go straight up like that. Um, but I think XRP is going to follow the market in a pretty parabolic way. Um, so, you know, expect something, you know, like this, where we come up, get rejected, get a pretty hefty move down to the 20-week moving average. The 20-week moving average is probably going to be coming up like this, right? We get, well, we, we test all-time highs test them 20 week move average, and then we really start our big impulse, um, just like we did in the last um, bull market back here. So um, get this posted on your charts. Um, this is what I think is gonna pretty much happen over the next couple months for XRP before we break that all time high and really start getting into price discovery where, uh, yeah, XRP kind of did its thing last time, guys. Um, so um, that's kind of the look on the, uh, the fractal that we've been talking about for so long for XRP. I think it's gonna keep playing out. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this fractal before we jump on into the XRP Bitcoin uh, chart, where it's also gonna give us a few different clues on why I'm also bullish on XRP 
in the short and medium term and also the long term. Don't want to keep that out. You guys know I'm bullish on XRP in the long term um, just because I think it's so underbought and, uh, you know, bit people crap on XRP all the time. But it, it, you know, down here where I was buying, right, when I was talking to you guys in June and July, I was buying all the way down here when everyone was talking crap, right, down at the 15 cent mark. Now we're up at 60 cents, almost a 4 x my investment so far. So I don't think a lot of people are talking crap right now. Yeah, it probably would have been better in Bitcoin or you know, probably would have been a 5, 6, 7x. But I, I still think that uh, XRP is going to make hefty gains. And XRP is only a small amount of my portfolio, um, you know, whereas Bitcoin is more. So as I stop rambling, let's jump on into the XRP Bitcoin chart. So we have a couple different things going on that I want to talk about. So back here, this left kind of fractal here is the 2016, 2017 bear market to bull market, right? So this is the XRP Bitcoin pair. And uh, this is our current um, 2019, 2018, 2019 to 2020 start of the bull market. So you guys can already see pretty much the resemblance. So what we had is on the XRP Bitcoin pair, we got rejected, um, you know, multiple times on this um, downtrend, right? Same thing that we had here. We got multiple rejections on this downtrend, um, you know, before we actually bottomed out and got a pump up. Now, where that bottom out was was actually a very, very key point as well, guys. We What we basically did is created a double bottom. So when we got this initial pump up over here back in 2013, we came up and we made our first bottom, right? And then we got an impulse and then we ended up obviously uh, making our way down over a matter of a couple of years and actually making a double bottom, which is absolutely huge, right? We wanna see that double bottom, triple bottom, where we get those reversal points and really make, um, you know, get our next impulse. So what did we do this time, right? We got that impulse again, just like we did back here. We bottomed out, right? We got our second impulse, just like we did back here. And then we had our slow grind for a couple of years. And what did we do, guys? Again, we made a double bottom. And then what did we do? We pumped right off that double bottom again. Now, the only thing that's different about this time is last time it got very, very parabolic pretty quick. Um, this time it got parabolic, but we actually wicked straight down to test this as support. And I think that's gonna propel us up to higher prices. Not as parabolic as this, but I think we're gonna get you know something along the lines of, you know, of that. So um, that is kind of uh, the top XRP Bitcoin pair, right? We also, if we look down here, I have the RSI down here and we also had bullish divergence on both these time frames. You guys can see we had lower highs, right? Lower highs and lower lows in the price action, but we had um, you know higher lows in the RSI on this left one, right? And in the current one, same thing, guys. Hot lower highs, um, lower lows, but we had lower. I mean, but we had higher lows in the RSI, creating bullish divergence. Both times, right? And both times, when we ended up bottoming out um, on the RSI, right? We ended up pumping, right? And same thing, we just bottomed out on the RSI here, and we're pumping again. So um, that is the XRP Bitcoin pair. Uh, just a, a tons of information I just gave you guys, and a tons of reasons why I'm so bullish on XRP, right? We bought it. We had a double bottom on the XRP Bitcoin pair. Um, we had uh, a bullish divergence on the XRP Bitcoin pair, right? The fractal that we've been talking about for absolutely months is still playing out exactly the same, right? And until it does, I, I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and be biased, right? If this fractal ends up not gonna work out, I'm gonna come make a video XRP, tell you guys that the fractal is broken. Um, you know, I took my profits on XRP and I moved them into Bitcoin. But until that does happen, right, I'm gonna be a realist and see what I see on the charts, right? Um, you know, if, if XRP ends up failing, I'm, I'm wrong. It is what it is. It is what it is. I, and no trader, no investor makes perfect decisions. But, um, you know, I, I do my own research, right? I make these charts every, I look at these charts every day, look at fractals, look at RSIs, Look at uh, divergences, all that things, and all those things are lining up for XRP, um, at least for the next couple months in this 2021 bull market that I'm expecting, and many of you guys are expecting as well. So 
Hope you guys enjoyed today's video on XRP. I'm gonna say at the end of all my videos, guys, if you haven't already, go follow me on Twitter. Uh, we're up to that 51 follower mark, so thank you guys so much. I, I put 50 followers as the goal. Now let's make that 100 followers over on that Twitter. And also, guys, if you haven't already, press that subscribe button down below. Tons of you guys watch my videos, but don't subscribe to me. I, I just don't get it. But um, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.